Generally, states require both parents to consent to a child's adoption, but it may be detrimental to extend the consent right to absent fathers, allowing them to block adoptions. In Quillian v. Walcott, we explore the constitutionality of state laws that consequently treat absent fathers differently from other fathers. Ardell Walcott and Leon Quillian had a son, but never married or lived together. When the son was two, Ardell married Randall Walcott, creating a family home in which the child grew up. Leon visited with some regularity, but only sporadically provided financial support. And he never petitioned for legitimation, which would have resulted in legal recognition of a parent-child relationship. When the son was 11, Randall, with Ardell's consent, petitioned to adopt him. Leon objected and simultaneously filed a petition for legitimation and a writ of habeas corpus seeking visitation rights. He also contested the constitutionality of a Georgia law that required only a mother's consent to an illegitimate child's adoption. He argued that the law was unconstitutional as applied because it denied him the veto right afforded to other fathers, violating the Equal Protection Clause, and involuntarily terminated his relationship with his child without a finding of unfitness violating the Due Process Clause. The trial court ultimately concluded that it was in the child's best interests to grant the adoption and deny legitimation and visitation. The court also concluded that Leon's constitutional challenges were unfounded, and without an order granting legitimation, Leon lacked standing to object to the adoption. The Georgia Supreme Court affirmed, and the United States Supreme Court granted cert to consider the constitutionality issue.